When I went to university, I shaved the sides of my head and got an undercut and got a bunch of designs on it and dyed my hair blue. I guess you could say that I truly lost it. Hi everyone, it is Brigitte. Oh my gosh, why was I thinking in my head as I said that? Hi Cherry Bombs is Brigitte. Vote in my poll if you want to be called Cherry Bomb because everyone's bomb as hell but I don't even like cherries so... Oh my god I'm so lame. Today's video is going to be 50 facts about me. I wanted to make more of a talking video because I've realized most of the videos that I upload I don't really talk that much or I haven't just sat down and spoke and looked at the camera and just spoken about myself but hey it's worth a try you know. Opening yourself up to new experiences is worth it, and you gotta do it. You gotta do it. I might seem hyper because I've had a lot of Coke. No, I've had a lot of Coca-Cola. I don't know why, but it makes me feel really drunk. I'm so lame. I went to a job trial today, and it didn't go that great. So this is what I'm doing to make myself feel better. Put get well messages in the comment section down below, please. I'll need it. <laughs> I have horrible trypophobia. I don't know about you, but little clusters of holes, just trypophobia, no. Holes, no. I am a multilingual. I speak six languages. I hate jam, strawberry, melons, yeah, and kiwis. Nope, no, no. I shaved the sides of my head and got an undercut. I actually have six piercing. My ear stretch, smiley pierced, tongue pierced, another normal ear piercing, and I have a nipple piercing. I'm an empath. When someone is deeply upset or they're not admitting that they're upset, I just can feel that they are and then it makes me really, really upset. I'm self-taught at guitar. I studied as a singer slash musician at university. I have small feet. I wear a size 5 UK size. I really like Halsey. I just really enjoy who she is and her music. I get easily distracted because I have ADHD. I have a very bad talking problem because of that too. I also have learning difficulties. I was homeschooled for a year in Brisbane, Australia. I am queer. I like girls too. I actually still like the shows Catfish and 16 and Pregnant. I really don't know why. I can't sleep in silence. I always have to have noise in the background. I don't like wearing heels. I have crippling anxiety. I'm always appearing timid because of it. I am short-sighted. Well, I'm supposed to wear glasses, but, but I don't wear them, so my eyesight's getting worse, and I'm due for an uh, optician's appointment, which I still haven't gone to, so wish me luck and hope that I go. I used to be really heavily into sports. I ran 100 meters, 200 meters. I did relay. I really enjoyed that. Occasionally, 400 meters. I guess I was a sprinter then. I also played netball, which also quite made me good at basketball. By the age of five to six I had already traveled to six different countries. Winter is my favorite season. Even though it freezes the fuck out of my hands, it's fine. Winter I still love you. I really enjoy rainy and stormy days. I don't know why. I just really like gloomy days. I could just listen to like a folk, a folk, a folk, a folk. Am I saying it right? My accent. I really like listening to forest music while the day is like really shitty and I'm like watching friends on the TV or something and I'm having like hot chocolate. That's such a mood. My favorite movies of all time of the late 80s and early 90s is Dirty Dancing and Pretty Woman. I still own a 1994 VHS TV. I cannot stand loud noises. My favorite adult is Chloe. I love you if you're watching this. I get annoyed when people cook and they do not clean up after themselves let's just say someone's cooking right they'll call me as they're cooking and then ask me to help them out okay as they're cooking I'm helping them out with chopping the carrots or whatever this person who's cooking is putting plates into the sink each time and staring at me and talking to me and I'm giving them that look like you know you're gonna clean that up right it's almost like they can read me and they're like but you know you're cleaning it up right I'm not I'm gonna make this food eat it go sit down and sleep you're gonna take care of this kitchen I'm into Jeremy Kyle shows I had sexy lady as my ringtone once at uni. <laughs> I relate to Pale Waves music on a really deep level. I think I love Brighton more than London. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm saying that. I'm probably gonna change my mind in like a couple of years. I love animals, cats, guinea pigs, and I think rodents are pretty cute. Speaking of rodents, when I was living in an accommodation at uni, we had this one specific time where there was like rat traps and every night I'd walk out to somewhere, let's just say I was going out to take a breather or something. I would see this big ass rodent just 
run past me. It was so big. It was bigger than a guinea pig. At first it freaked me out because I was like, oh my god, what is that? But then I realized, oh, it's a big ass rat. I don't like to read, but I wrote a whole book on Wattpad at the age of 14. I'm Dutch and I was born in Amsterdam. I love Hachelsloch. I really enjoy cartoons. 87% of what I eat most of the time is leaves. I'm a herbivore. I am obsessed with caffeine, as in like in coke. Tea is my favorite one. I got high for the first time at the age of 18 with my girlfriend. I, I, uh. I got noise blockers stuck in my nose on a plane when I was a little kid once. Everyone on the plane started panicking. I cannot tell round clocks. I don't know if you can see the clock over there. I can't tell that. I have dyscalculia. That is also part of my learning difficulties. I was in a band called Monarchy. Literally, my love for music was born in that band. Tea is the best thing in the world. I don't care what anyone says. Tea is the best thing in the world. I want more piercings and tattoos. I still do not know how to use Tumblr. I was one of the first people to start my period in primary school I started my period at 11 years old all right cherry bombs Ooh. that was it for this video I really hope you enjoyed 50 facts about me it was pretty intense I know obviously I have more facts to myself I've only revealed to you what I want you to know so bye take it easy and I'm out